a fellow native New Yorker sitting right here to my right and the uh, star of Cobra Kai, which has been a hit on YouTube premium to say the least. The uh, reboot uh, television wise and streaming wise of the great Karate Kid movie, which I cannot believe is 34 years old. Cobra Kai, check it out on YouTube Premium with Ralph Macchio. Good to see you, it's sir. It's 34 years old, and I'm only 28. It's I don't amazing. Know how, how, it's amazing. You, do, you honestly <laughs> do not look like you have aged a day, though. Yeah, no, not, not true, not true, but uh, it's uh, good stuff. It's good stuff. You Considering can, the alternative, I'll take it, right? So how often were you asked to, to try and revisit Karate uh, Kid, A decent Ralph? amount of times over the past 30 years. Um you know, it never, I, I was very protective uh, uh, always of that character and that franchise. And I just did. It, it was always felt smarter to to not try to go back to the well and come up empty than, than taint the legacy of what has become a piece of pop culture, what has become a piece of our childhoods. You know, uh, these, you know, uh, John Hurwitz, uh, Hayden Schlossberg and, and Josh Heal, the three creators of Cobra Kai, had such a... Uh, a clear vision of coming in through the Johnny Lawrence, the world of Johnny Lawrence and whatever happened to this bully and, and, and dealing with that and where LaRusso would be at this time. And they had written uh, a hot tub time machine and, and, um, and the Harold and Kumar franchise. So they, I felt that they really had a, a, a handle on writing for a younger audience and creating uh, a fresh world and yet still pay homage to the nostalgia it was just the right time and then you have these these services like a youtube premium where you could essentially make a five-hour movie and cut it up into 10 half-hour parts and know? and again uh the pilot the first episode where you're 34 years later uh running a car dealership right, larusso auto body right and <laughs> and billy zabka right is showing up it's kind of down on his luck right in a way right has been seen almost 40 million times. Yeah. That's an absurd it's, number, It's Ralph. insane. It's wonderful. It's, it's uh, you know, we always felt that this uh, the, these characters in this franchise had that sort of, uh, the ability for that kind of embrace. But to see everyone tell their friends, you have to see this, you have to see this. And uh, and then the, the critics as well. It's really, it doesn't happen very often. And it's it really tastes sweeter the older you get when you see something like this happen. Now so we, it's awesome. We had Elizabeth Shue on the show a few, you know, months ago, and she just remembered being there and just how you were just young kids on a movie, right. kind of not knowing what you were, you, what we, you were had part no of. Idea. But we just having like a great time yeah. while doing it, you had yeah. no idea at the time. No, what I, you were I mean, I did. Into. I did know this. I did feel that my there was such an ease with working with Pat Morita that I did feel when I was making the film that we had something special, something unique. There was, um, you know, it just felt like the two right guys in those roles. It was just, I guess, it was because it felt easy to do. Mm -hmm. I assumed it was coming off well. As far as whether, you know, wax on, wax off, and sweep the leg would be part of the American lexicon. <laughs> it still it, is. That case the later. Way. Right. It it's, still it's is. crazy. It still is. You know, and now more than ever. So it's really quite wonderful. Ralph Macchio here uh, on The Rich Eisen Show. Before you get into uh, more of your pop culture history and, and uh, great uh, TV and movie roles that you've been part of, Let's talk a little bit of sports. You're from New York. You're from the New York City yep, area. Yep. And so you're from Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Yes. L a w n. Yeah, that's right. With a capital G. Capital G. Long Island. <laughs> right. That's where you're from. Yep. So it's interesting because we were discussing this uh, backstage a little bit that you're you're partial to the Long Island based teams. Right. Right. From your youth. Yes. Yeah, still Just am. Just like me, you know, from Staten Island. I'm. I, I, I'm a Yankee, but I I mixed in the Jets just because I needed a little bit of yeah, uh, yeah, angst humble, in my little, life. A little humble, <laughs> little humbling. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Well, I'm a big Jet fan. Jets, Mets, Islanders are my my teams. So I've I've suffered, but uh, also had some great, great, great memories, and hopefully looking for some new ones. Well, the Islanders, right? I mean, yeah. Well, listen, when I was a kid, I, they won four straight Stanley Cups. They were the you know eighty through eighty four, the best team. Uh, it's a franchise uh, record that probably will not be duplicated, but just by the way it's set up now. Um, so, so we just got um, Lou Lamarillo coming on. I was director of hockey operations. Longtime so, Devil Stanley long, Cup yeah, architect. He's, one, he's he's had a pretty good run. So it'll be uh, uh, hopefully he could sign John Tavares and a couple other things. Grab a 
couple defensemen and a goalie, and we'll be back in. There you go. So, uh, who was your guy growing up? Bossy was he? Mike uh, Bossy? Bossy was way up there. Trottier was my it was my guy. This, uh, he, there was just something about him um, that I, I loved uh, watching him play. That whole team was was uh, exciting. I can't believe the Rangers put him behind the on the bench. Yeah, I know. I know. That was a what rough one do? for me to handle. Just because, yeah. you know, I was a I was a Barry Beck kid growing Barry up. Barry Beck. Shoot the puck, shoot Barry. Shoot the puck, Barry. He refused shoot to damn shoot that damn puck. That's right. And then and he wouldn't. Uh, um, Brock, when I'm telling you, I know I'm predating you. He would be out there on the point. Yeah. And he wouldn't shoot? No. Shoot, shoot the puck, oh. Barry. Shoot the puck. And that was yeah, what that they was were it. chanting wow. in the Coliseum. It was either that or 1940, but that changed. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah, reverse of it. The reverse of it, from the blue seats, as they used to be right, known in Madison up Square before, the, before the Chase up, Bridge or whatever. Right, whatever the hell they're yeah, doing right. up there now is, you know, the the old dun 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 right. dun, dun dun. It would always be pot fan sucks. sucks. That's <laughs> yeah, pot was always pot fan sucks. sucks. They still do it to this day. Any Ranger <laughs> Islander game, they'll yell pot fan sucks, and pot fan will always say he always thought they were saying pot fans cups. Ah, <laughs> so it's a, the rival. I love the rivalries like that, you know, and and Islanders funny. Rangers have a great one. Uh, the Coliseum is where I saw my first ever concert, too. My mm -hmm. dad drove me out to Long Island with all my friends. And you saw who? Chicago. 25 or 6 to 4. Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's his It was. Album. Excuse me, hold on. No, 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 no. Well, you know, well, you're no, no, me way back. No, it's that. Oops. There's 20, you know, and obviously Saturday in the park, but this was also when Pete Zatera. Ah, there's a segue. Doing a little bit of Karate so, Kid too. That's right. You know? Uh, he's a man who would fight for somebody's honor. That's <laughs> <laughs> Now, when I, walk through, uh, when I walk through airports, I get the Sports Center theme hummed at me from time right, to time, I'm even sure. though it has been 15 years since right, I've done my listen. last Sports Center. By the way, that today might be the anniversary wow. of my last ever Sports Center. I might actually, really? today, yeah, may, might actually uh, be it. But fun. what do you get when you walk around? Oh, Ralph? God. Um, what do you get? I get, you know, I get a lot of sweep the legs. I get a lot of stay gold pony boys. <laughs> get a lot of those. <laughs> and get a lot of uh, um, did you shoot the clerk? Okay. Um, so they, I, okay. I, pepper, I pepper in a, a few. Um, and do you really know karate? Which is uh, enough to make it look like I know karate. Well, I mean, <laughs> look, it's it's movie making or yeah. whatever, but I imagine you did take some form of a lesson or yes, two. Yes, right? I've, I've taken a handful of lessons. I'm still doing. It's tougher now than it was. Uh, a lot easier back then, but uh, we don't we don't bounce back as quick. No, I know a lot more stretching going on these days. And then my cousin Vinny is an all time great. What was it like on the set with Pesci? It was great. For you? It was great. That was. Um, that was one, I call that movie the late for dinner movie. Because when it's on, it's remote you're going to be late. It doesn't for, matter you what can't. you're doing. It is, it is like that. It was, that was a, it was funny on the page and even funnier on the screen. Great to be a part of that. Great ensemble cast. Obviously, M Marissa was launched into the stratosphere and won the Oscar for that. And, uh, and Joe just came off of Goodfellas, had just won the Oscar. I know. So um, and now you're uh, on the so, set with Pesci? And I I'm, mean, yeah. And I'm, uh, you know. I still I've signed cans of tuna for people. That's kind of the funny. You know, you think you go. I always like that out because people do bring me cans of tuna, and they say, "Will you sign?" Uh, I, I shot the clerk or the two Utes or something like that. It's it's and you it's, it's awesome, of course, man. That's I mean, you sign up for that to 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 say no, I won't do that. It's yeah. just it's hideous. I, I mean, will not sign tuna. I will not sign tuna. <laughs> uh, you know, does the person eat the tuna after? I don't. Do I don't. Do I that? don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think I've seen a couple of them in box frames, mm -hmm. um, but you know, I guess they're always looking for something besides an eight by ten glossy, and so a can of tuna <laughs> it probably I stays pretty different. good. I know. A couple more minutes yeah. here with Ralph Macchio. Again, uh, check out YouTube Premium's Cobra Kai uh, right now. Stream it. It's already been picked up for a second season, which yeah. I do want to talk about uh, before moving on from my cousin Vinny. Because in, in our show history, we've been in where this October will be on for four years. The first ever Super Bowl guest for us coming off of the Deflate Gate game between mm -hmm. the Patriots and the Colts. This is this is a true fact that will never be taken away from us. I don't know who was ever going to take away from us. In the history of our Super Bowl shows, our first guest was Marissa Tomei. Wow. Who we tracked down and said we had to speak to her because Bill Belichick, in his post right. AFC Championship press conference prior to getting on a plane at the Super Bowl, dropped a Mona Lisa Vito, Vito. reference. <laughs> I just what? never forget that. First of all, I got to see, I got to get that tape of uh, Marissa on the show. She I got to see that. It was, it was, 
she couldn't have been nicer. That's we called. Great. She called in. Amazing. It was the first guest. Like she could only do it like literally two minutes after we go on the air. We're here in this oh, our, that's our great. first ever Super Bowl. Did she? Show. Did she know of the Mona Lisa veto drop? She like, had to. She said that her phone exploded. Bloated. I was driving. <laughs> I was driving uh, on Long Island, and uh, and I was listening to this. And then when just just hearing Mona Lisa, it's not not the Mona Lisa veto of the, I I almost <laughs> drove off the road just the and I looked around to see if I could share this with anybody, <laughs> like and everybody was just going about their business. No one had and I just I had to stop and then it was I was just dying to say, did you hear that? Right. It just felt so out of character Isn't and amazing? out of everything. I just I want to know the genesis. He'll never give it to you because he's a man of. Few words, I would imagine. Uh, what was the genesis of coming up with that? Was it thought through? You know, it's like a great, uh, a great sports announcer when they. Uh, I don't know who it was when I heard the. Uh, it's uh, pandemonium and Pescataway. Remember that? That was we learned years later. That was preconceived. <laughs> sure. So was was this something Belichick pulled out of his back pocket, or was he coached? If I ever literally. do, if I ever do nice, if I ever <laughs> do have a moment with him. I will ask him on behalf of you and yeah, everybody that's it. else. And I want you got to you got to hit me back. Is it on something that. that he's seen over and over and over again, I'm and just pulled out of his the out Mona of his Lisa pop culture Vito. head? I mean, that's or great. or was he just you know remote drop? Like as you said, it's a remote drop movie. Was he was he just the night before? It's positive. Having traction. watched it, it's, it's positive. Positive. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. Man. Exactly. I know. That's you know, it's and it's interesting. We once I think try to bring it up to Pesci. At a golf tournament, correct. That might have been golf tougher. That might have been tougher. And he was, uh, I think, already a couple of fingers into his drink <laughs> and <laughs> more, pulled out a few and, martinis. And in. he pulled out a pocket knife, right? He did, did. He pull yeah, out a yeah. knife. He pulled out a pocket knife. Not because of that, but just because he's Joe freaking right, right. That's right. He does whatever he wants. He does whatever he wants. So uh, the future of uh, Cobra Kai is mm -hmm. bright, correct? Yes. yes. What, what can you tell fans who have already visited YouTube Premium about what where where this might head well, in it's season a, two? Already, we were just talking rough. the other day. I mean, it's early. Early, early discussions of where the story is going to go. The great thing is that, you know, everything is on the table. Every character who might have been in the original film, there's there could be places to go. There's nothing set. Um, the nostalgia, the way they pepper in the nostalgia it really works so well, and we're looking to continue to do that. But also, you know, keep uh, original, fresh stories along the way that, that tie in both that with something current. Um, I think... It's open for business. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I have no, uh, no specifics as uh, except for the fact that Martin Cove is now going to be a series regular in season two. Fantastic. So everything else from there, we shall see. But you, it's really exciting. You know who Martin Cove was, Chris? Right? You know Martin Cove? I don't. He was the chief a hole of the film. Oh, Creasy he's Sensei Creasy. Yeah, Creasy. Yeah, he's yeah. you know he's the he's the so baddest he's, of bad. That's I didn't know his real name. Yeah. Uh, so well, look, you didn't watch uh, uh, Cagney and Lacey either. I bet. That's true. How about that for a poll? There you go. How about that for a you're poll right there? It. Finger on the pulse. Uh, right here. The only guy who can talk cup final, NBA final, and drop a Cagney and Lacey IMDB <laughs> nugget right here. I don't know. These things just clank in my head. It's I don't good. know why That's they exist, awesome. Ralph. I don't know why they exist. So are you saying that other uh, stars of the Karate Kid film may Could have be. been reached out to, but should have Could. their head on a swivel to use I a hockey think, phrase? I think, well, some are campaigning. Oh, uh, but uh, nice. and that's all I'll say. Oh, uh, I don't say who. Um, but but you listen with uh, it's nice to for the writers to have just such that um, that pool to go to. I mean, what they you know, also some of the great stuff that they were able to do is pull footage from Sony, which the Columbia Pictures made the Karate Kid film. Yes. They were able to pull footage that didn't appear in the original film. And those flashback scenes are actually cut in with different shots into the series of season one. Mm -hmm. And it really changes the perspective. Uh, it's really kind of a cool way to 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 touch base with yesteryear Yet, yet move forward with a, a story, with the story going forward. Okay, that, that that's phenomenal. It's great. So, uh, just Chris Brockman, um, as it. you know, we like to tweet out fake news headlines and make it seem real. Okay, what do we got? Say, Ralph Macchio says Hillary Swank is campaigning, campaigning to be in season two of Cobra Kai. Got it. <laughs> well, but Hillary, she has the problem with that one. Okay. <laughs> Hillary Swank wasn't necessarily in a karate kid film that I had anything to I do with. <laughs> wow.
She I'm just saying, three. so that but might have changed. That could so be a game changer there. What happened with three? What happened with three and you, Ralph? What, what happened, happened with three? <laughs> three and you. What happened with you and three? Um, that was four, wasn't it? I don't know was what it was. I only, I only, I talk about two. You only. <laughs> I talk about the first like, two. By the way, you sound like one of those coaches. I'm only talking about the movies yeah, I'm only I was in, about, man. I'm, I'm, only, I'm, not, uh, I'm only here to talk about the players who are here in O2. Nah, it all works. It's all good. Congrats, man. Thank you so it much, really man. It really is great Thanks to see. It's a, it's a great piece of nostalgia. And obviously, the reason why it works is because it's a great story. It's an unbreakable story. And it's a great piece of nostalgia. It makes me feel... It's nice. Like it's I nice. was, uh, like I'm, and it touches on gray again. areas where the Karate Kid film was so good over evil, black and white. Where yes. Cobra Kai is really your yeah, allegiance uh, episode to episode I know. changes, and that makes it uh, richer. You know, it shows more flaws in both these. Is guys. that what appealed to you? Yes, yes, because it was a it was a fresh angle and it added more depth and complexities to adulthood as opposed to, you know, Miyagi's team good, Cobra Kai bad. Yeah. So I think that's part of what's working so well. Fantastic. And thanks a lot, Rick. No, Can I hit send on this tweet or what? What is it? Can I hit send on this tweet? No, I don't do it. All right. Ralph wasn't even in the movie with Hillary. He was <laughs> they have a karate emoji. I mean, it works perfect. No, 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 no don't, don't right. do it. All right, fine. You we'll know. come up with a better one. All right. <laughs> Just say, just say, yeah. Just we'll come up with a better one. Just rag on LeBron. Everybody's doing that. That's right. the thing to do. Very yeah. easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's open season. Oh, by the way, last the poll question of Ralph Macchio here before we uh, before we send him on his way, and then the TV audience uh, just stick around for one more segment. We'll show a clip. Okay. To the TV okay, audience. Ralph. Uh, which sequel are you most tired of? Anything Star Wars, Warriors, Cavs in the NBA Finals, or Patriots in the Super Bowl? Cavs, Warriors, four in a row. Patriots have made three of the last four. And solo. Anything with, Star Wars. I think there's a yeah. Boba Fett I, I would movie go, coming out. I would out. go with uh, uh, the basketball, the Cavs and, and, You're and sick the of Warriors. It? Uh-huh. Yeah, because, I mean, that's how basketball set up. There's three teams. How many teams are there? Um, and then you're, you know, listen, I'm watching the Knicks and the Nets. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, uh, okay. it's kind of tough. Well, now you know how I felt as a Ranger fan watching the Islanders. That's make, right. We have a now for a drive changed. for five, as it was known back in that the was day. Back in the day. Good to see you, Ralph. You too. Thanks so much. Ralph Macchio here. Stay right there, Ralph. Uh, And uh, for those of you watching on audience, we'll show you a clip of uh, YouTube Premium's Cobra Kai. That's when we come back here on this edition of The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.